Did you know that you can control all the lighting in your house with just a simple app and it doesn't have to cost you $100,000? Let's get into it. So a lot of people, a lot of electricians get into lighting control systems. Once you started getting into really fancy, big $20 million houses, almost every one of them is gonna have some kind of a lighting control system. And it can be uh, really high-end stuff like uh, Lutron Homeworks, there's QS systems. If you get into remodels, you might have more of like a Radio Raw 2. You could have Crestron, you could have Control 4. There's all kinds of different lighting control systems. And most of them are really expensive <laughs> because they're meant for these big dramatic homes. Well, there's a more affordable option that Lutron has. And Lutron is one of the best names in the industry. So they came out with a version of a lighting control system that the everyday homeowner can have. And it's something that's so simple to put in and it gives you full control of your entire lighting system in your house on an app for a lighting control system that you could put in or that you, if you're an electrician, something easy to put in like normal people's houses. The Caseta system is actually really dope and it's super reliable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through this house and certain rooms. Um, there's a couple of rooms that I only have one switch and I wish that there was a second switch on the other end of the room because it's two entrances. So with the Caseta system, they have these Pico remotes that you can put one dimmer in one side and you could put a wireless remote that doesn't even need to get screwed into anything. There's no wires. It just mounts on the wall wherever you want it and it gives you a three-way option. But that's just one part of the Caseta system. So I'm gonna go through an entire Caseta system and talk about all the different components and show you how I'm setting all of this up to be able to control it centrally from my phone. First thing that I did is the dining room. There's one switch over in one side of the room. We don't have a switch on the other side and that's just, that drives everybody mad. So the easiest thing to do is take out that switch and change it out with a Caseta Smart Dimmer. So these look a lot like the Lutron Diva series of dimmers. They're not the same thing. They don't actually work together. So if you have like Diva dimmers, you can't put them on the Caseta control system. But if you already have existing Diva dimmers, they look very similar. So they actually fit together if you have both of the devices in your home. So I took the existing switch out. I noticed almost every switch in this entire house does not have a ground. Um, so I needed to make sure to add a ground and put all of this stuff back in. Now there is a blue wire with most of these uh, dimmers that you're gonna see me put in. Some of the dimmers have a neutral, some of them don't, but most of them all have a blue wire. And that blue wire is if you're going to do a three-way setup. And in all of the cases that I'm dealing with, I'm not going to. So I'm just gonna cap off that blue wire fold everything into the back of the box. And then you'll notice too that I'm replacing all of the plates with screwless plates. So there's Lutron Claro plates that work perfectly with all of these devices. Now that I got that dimmer in, it's time to put the remote in. So with the remote, I could put this just somewhere randomly on a wall, but I've already got a two gang set up by the front door to do some of the exterior lights and then the entry light the chandelier. So I just figured this would be a good opportunity to change these out and make this into a fake three gang. So it's still just a two gang box inside, but I'm gonna mount that remote right next to the other two switches and make sure that everything lines up really nice. So you'd never be able to tell the difference. And then I think it makes sense because you're already used to having switches right there. So you would kind of expect that if you were gonna do something in the dining room, that that's the obvious location for where that switch would be. So I got that remote in. Now, the way that these Caseta switches can be set up is you can have a central hub that everything gets hooked into your router and this hub can talk to a app and you can control everything that way. But if you don't have a hub and you just want to wire these so that they talk to each other, you can do it without the hub and without the app. They work great both ways. So in this situation, what I have to do is I actually have to hold down on the dimmer on the very bottom of it for about six seconds and then it starts flashing really fast and then I walk over to the remote um, or you can hold the remote in your hand while you're doing the install uh, and you can hold the bottom of that down for six seconds and then boom they're programmed together and it's not going to interfere with any of the other devices that you've got that you're installing throughout the rest of the house and once you do that turn it off on the actual dimmer and then pull out the remote and test to make sure everything works and boom that room's done. The next thing that I did was in the kitchen, I wanted to get 
two switches. We don't need them to be dimmers. I just need a way to get them on the system so that I can control them on or off or create a scene or set a schedule so in the morning when I come down and get my coffee, <laughs> the pendant lights are already on. So what I did is took the two gang apart. Now I already know this is an oversized plate. So I know that this is gonna look kind of mucky afterwards because I've got the Claro screwless plates and they don't have an oversized plate. So I will have to touch some of this up. But what I did was I took these two switches out, put the two Caseta smart switches in. Notice these are smart switches instead of smart dimmers. They don't have the little dimming slider on them. But put both of those in, put another Claro plate and this room is done. Next thing that I did was go into the living room. So living room, we just needed a ability to turn on all of the lights or turn them off, dim them, but also have the control of sitting on the couch and having a remote. So Lutron makes a whole bunch of different remotes. They've got some where you can, they're like scene remotes, so you can pick different scenes. Um, they've just got a standard remote, which is just a switch. And then they also have a couple of different versions of dimming Pico remotes where you have lights on, lights off, dim up and down, or you have some fan control as well. So they sent me this little pedestal and you can actually take any of these remotes and put them on the pedestal. They're really heavy. So it's kind of just a swanky thing, like having that sitting on the table. So if I'm sitting here watching TV, I don't have to get up to go turn my lights on. I can either flip open the app, turn the lights on, dim them, turn them off, or I've just got this little remote sitting here that makes it super easy to do that. So I took out the switch in the living room and added a new Caseta dimmer and programmed it to the remote and that room is done. Next thing I'm doing is going upstairs. So we have another three-way setup that I want to do. There's currently only a two gang at the top of the stairs that controls the chandelier above the stairwell and the cans that are in the hallway. And I don't have any way to control at either end of the hallway this set of cans. So what I did is took the two gang apart. I put another Caseta Smart Dimmer in. And then I took another remote and at the very end of the hallway, I put another remote in. And then I did the same thing, pushed the bottom for six seconds on each one of these, programmed them together. Now they're synced and this area is done. Now, the last thing that I need to do is hook up the smart hub. So there's a, a little box that needs to get plugged into the modem and that will allow it to sync with my Wi-Fi network. And then once I download the app, I will have full control of everything that's connected to that hub and that hub will recognize all the devices throughout the house. Now that I have that installed, last thing to do is download the Lutron app. There are multiple Lutron apps in the app store, so make sure you get the one that says Lutron app in the lifestyle section. After you download it, you have to get on your Wi-Fi network, so it'll allow you to see what your network is doing. And then once you get in, it's super easy to add all of this stuff. You just click a button that says add device and then it says what kind of device do you have? You click the one that you've got and then you walk up to each one of the devices hit the actual dimmer or the switch, hold it down for about 10 seconds. It'll start rapidly flashing at you. And then if you look at the app, the app will pair up with it and it'll recognize it. And then you can tell it what kind of lights, what the name of the room that you wanna have displayed in your app, and then you're done. And you just keep adding as many devices as you have and you can keep expanding it with time. So that was pretty much it. That only took me a couple hours. It actually took me longer because I was filming. <laughs> I had to set the camera up everywhere. But honestly, um, that, the entire thing that I just did was probably about two hours of work, um, including cleanup. So if you want to be able to install a lighting control system or you want to be able to, as an electrician, sell them to people, you don't have to have one of these big crazy systems and that you can only do during new construction. You know, like the, the benefit of this is you can drop one of these in any house anywhere. And the fact that you got wireless remotes like gives you so much versatility. And the fact that you can control everything from an app, from the top name in the lighting control space, and you don't have to pay $100,000 to get a lighting control system, I think is pretty rad. So if you're curious more about uh, some of the Caseta stuff, there's a link in the description below. Go check it out. And I appreciate you guys watching this. Love you crazy people. And I'll see you in the next one.